barbecue sauce right there, y'all. parking and then uh, I'm be on my way inside all right I'm walking into the hospital right now so you know we have to all wear masks everywhere we go nowadays which is a good thing because I know the coronavirus is on the rise so we gotta make sure that we're safe so let me get checked in and everything and then I'll be back in with you guys So I just finished with my surgery. Just finished getting dressed and everything. So signed out my paperwork uh, and uh, it's the time to go home so I can take me some pain medicine and give me some food because I am tired. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. And when I get back to the house, I'll kind of go over in more depth and detail of what the procedure was, what they're telling me to do, so I can have a fast recovery. So. Looking forward to that, so stay tuned. Yep. All right, y'all, so we are all done. My wife got my uh, medications. I'm about to go get me some food, take this medication so I won't be in no pain. As you can see, yeah, the hands. So I am ready to go home and relax. All right, finally made it home. Cannot wait to get to the house so I can just go to sleep. <laughs> I need a rest. I'm gonna take a nap. So, yeah. And uh, take me some more pain medicine and call it a good day. All right, you guys. Just want to give you an update of my carpal tunnel surgery that I had yesterday. So yeah, uh, when I got home, uh, the doctor did tell me that my hand would be numb uh, pretty much for the rest of the day and even possibly to the next day. Um, so I didn't feel terrible pain at all. Um, I, it felt more like when your foot falls asleep and it's starting to wake up, those kind of pins and needles. Um, that's pretty much what I was experiencing um, throughout the rest of the day and the nighttime. Um, I did my best just to kind of stay up on my medication. Um, they gave me a hydrocodone, five milligrams to take every four hours. Um, so yeah, I did that, um, and it it pretty much took the edge off of everything. Um, so today I took my shower for the first time. Uh, wife helped me out by wrapping up my hand, and I have pictures that I'm going to put into this video so you can kind of see the process I did to take um, to wrap up my hand. But from the moment that we got a surgery, uh, my doctor told me that I have to do these exercises 10 times every hour. That way I can start to strengthen up and keep my ligaments and tendons loose inside of my hand. So I just do this and follow it up by this. Now I did see other YouTube videos where I gave some other exercises where you can just kind of stretch your palm out. And I can feel all that. Um, I can kind of feel where the, the stitches are a little bit uh, right now, but I did just take my medication um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. My hand's a little bit swollen. You can see that? I don't know. Yeah, so right there. I can feel a lot. It's a lot more tender in my thumb area, I've noticed, than the rest of my fingers. When I move my thumb, I can really feel it. So I'm just trying to do my exercises. That way my hand won't get tight. Oh, by the way, so yesterday when I first had the surgery done, my hand felt loose. Um, today, after waking up, I did notice definitely that my hand was tighter from after I, I woke up. It was when I moved my hand out, it felt like I was stretching it for sure. Um, almost like having rubber bands wrapped around my fingers and I'm pulling them apart. 
that's the sensation that I felt when I was doing these exercises today. But anyway, um, other than that, it doesn't really hurt too bad. They did a wonderful job. Um, I don't really see any too much in the blood or anything, dry blood underneath my bandages. So it looks like everything's being taken care of. Um, I have one more full day before I can take off the bandage and um, see what's going on underneath it. And then I could probably just put on a regular band-aid on top of the stitches until it's time for them to come out. Anyway, I will keep you guys posted with how I feel the next day and see what the road to healing looks like for me. Good morning, good morning. Uh, today is time for me to take my bandage off so I can see how it looks, uh, the stitches look. Uh, it's day number two. They said I could take it off uh, the second day. Um, I did want to touch bases real quick about how I did last night, taking a shower um, and everything. So all that went well. I was able to keep my hand nice and fresh, uh, not dry at all. I mean, uh, not wet at all. Kept it nice and dry. Um, it, I did need some help um in the shower for my wife so she helped wash me up a little bit in areas i couldn't get to so um if you have some money in your life that you can trust like that i mean have some fun with it so like i say you know um shouldn't be that big of a deal you know if you're living with somebody you know you get over it <laughs> um however that does bring me to my next topic um using the restroom <laughs> now i know i've seen videos where people have both their hands done and so i really feel for them in those situations however uh using the restroom um going number two especially uh for the first time today uh was interesting <laughs> um i didn't have any problems but it definitely felt weird using your non-dominant hand so, um, with that being said, I was still able to get the job done. Um, I didn't need any extra assistance, so yay to that. I know my wife's happy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, let's, get ready to un let's get ready to take this bandage off and see what we are working with. Huh? See how it all looks. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> That's my little one, guys. She wants to see Daddy take off the bandaid. Yeah, I gotta take off my bandaid. Oh, okay. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna see too. Then they said that once you take it off, you can just uh, put on a bandaid over your stitches, you know, if you want, or you can leave them open. Really, kind of your preference, they said. <laughs> but there you go. You see that? There it is. The decision that they made. Cut open the uh, ligament. The skin is real tight. I don't know if you guys can see. Why? There it goes, right there. It's not too bad. It's kind of clean. We'll see how it looks once it heals up. The kind of scar I'll have on my progress. So I got to make sure I do my exercises. Today is day full day number two so my hand is definitely still much tighter remember I was telling you guys about the rubber band feeling it feels like the rubber bands are attached you have to stretch it out you can see how my hands look color wise I don't see a ton of bruising but you definitely see a difference how they look So there you guys go. I'm going to put on a band-aid and do my exercises.
All right, you guys, uh, me and the family, we about to take me to my doctor's appointment so I can uh, get my uh, stitches out today. So, get my stitches out today. So, I will, uh, on my accident, they'll let me film them taking out my stitches, but we'll see what happens. I doubt they will, but we'll find out. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated when we get to the hospital and so you guys to see what's going on. All right. Appreciate you guys giving me a call today saying I can come in a little earlier so I can get this over with. <laughs> I almost called you and said just come back, to, come tomorrow at to Carson in the morning. That's probably like a 10 minute drive for oh, yeah, you. Yeah, big time. Have you been to Carson yet? Um, I have not been to the hospital there, but um, I'm very familiar where it's located, yeah. Uh, yeah. Carson's only. 15 minutes down the street. Yeah. Not know. South Bay. I'm talking about the new Carson facility. Oh, no. It's on where 405 and 110 come together. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're seeing some departments are there. Some departments are still South Bay. Okay, that's it. Yeah. And move the fingers, make a fist. Great. That's fine. You feel all of this? I feel a lot of it. It's like the very, very tips. Right. It's a little bit right. duller, but I feel it. Here you feel? I can feel it. As you go closer to the tip, it kind of dulls out. A little Here bit. feel? I feel it. Is that from before or is it new? Uh, no, that's from before too. Okay. And this you feel? I can feel that. And I just like to put the little tape on there. Okay. It just adds a little protection. Oh, absolutely. So these tapes come in these strips. You just put them on. And then oh, do you cool, have an cool. appointment with Dr. McCall or no? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, not until August. That's All awesome. Right.